Modern Hebrew has words to describe the action of sights reaching our eyes and then our brains which interpret them. In this video, I'll teach you these essential verbs that Hebrew uses to express seeing, looking, and watching, and everything in between. Brought to you by Kapara Productions, let's dive straight into it. Let's start off with a basic verb for seeing, lirot. This word translates as to see something or someone. A man says roe, while a woman says roa. Let's see, pun intended, how we use this verb in real life. אני לא יכול לראות אותך. אתה רואה אותי? I cannot see you. Can you see me? אתן רואות את המגדל הגבוה שם? Do you see that tall tower over there? Also, similar to English, we could use this verb to express that one understands something. Examples? Ah, עכשיו אני רואה. Ah, now I see, meaning, now I understand. רואים? ככה עושים את זה נכון. You see, or, do you understand? This is how it's done correctly. This verb can also be altered to the verb להראות, to show something to someone. Here, a man says מראה, while a woman says מראה. Examples אתה יכול להראות לי איפה זה על המפה? Can you show me where that is on the map? יפה מראה לי את הדירה החדשה שלה. יפה is showing me her new apartment. A noun that derives from this verb is מראה. This word means a mirror, like the one you have at your doorway, in your bathroom, in your car, or in your purse. מראה מראה שעל הקיר, מי היפה בכל העיר? Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? asked the queen from the Snow White fairy tale. Notice that in the English version, she says the fairest, while it's translated in the Hebrew version as the prettiest. Let's move on to the verb להסתכל. This verb means to look at something or at someone. A man says מסתכל, while a woman says מסתכלת. Examples אני מסתכל בתמונות שלהם מאיסלנד. I'm looking at their photos from Iceland. אני מבקשת מכולם להסתכל רק עליי. I want everyone to look only at me, asked the professor. Let's examine the verb לצפות. We use this verb to watch something, as when you're watching TV, when you're watching a live sporting event, when you're going to the movies, or when you're attending a play at the theater. Here, a man says tsofe, while a woman says tsofa. Make sure to always add the preposition be. In Hebrew, we watch at something or watch in something. I know this doesn't make any sense, but that's just the way it is. Examples I'm watching TV. Which movie do you want to watch this evening? The next three verbs we'll review are not used on a daily basis, 
Nevertheless, they're not bad verbs to have in your arsenal, and will surely enrich your Hebrew vocabulary. The first verb we'll learn is lehitponen. This verb is derived from the word bina, meaning intelligence. Here, we're observing closely or looking deeply at someone or at something and trying to find the meaning. A man says mitbonen and a woman says mitbonenet. Similar to the verb litspot, here too we'll add the preposition be. Examples Ani mitbonenet bach veroa et ima shelach. I'm looking closely at you and see your mother. אני מתבונן בתמונה הזו כבר כמה דקות, ועדיין לא מוצא אותך. I'm looking closely at this picture for a few minutes, and still can't find you. The second verb we'll learn is לבהות, meaning to stare at something. Here, a man says בוהה, while a woman says בוהה. Examples אתה בוהה במחשב כל היום, אולי תצא החוצה לנשום קצת אוויר. You're staring at your computer the entire day. How about you go outside and breathe some fresh air? אני רוצה לשבת על החוף בתאילנד ולבהות בנוף. I want to sit on the beach in Thailand and stare at the scenery. Let's end off with the verb lashkif, which is usually used when looking out to the horizon from high up on top. Here, a man says mashkif and a woman says mashkifa. Examples If shar lashkif mikan ala kinneret. You can view from here the Kineret, meaning the Sea of Galilee. Hamisrat shelo mashkif ala Central Park. His office looks over Central Park. Even though most Israelis don't use the verb lashkif on a daily basis, maybe aside from real estate agents, we do see some useful nouns which derive from this verb, such as Mishkafaim, meaning glasses. Mishkafei Shemesh, meaning sunglasses. Mishkefet, meaning binoculars. Shakuf, meaning see-through or transparent. And Shkifut, meaning transparency. That is all guys and girls, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, yalla bye!